Ivana, we've seen a we've seen some condemnation come Russia's way, but will that deter Russia? Do you see more escalation with Russia saying this is just the first of such strikes that have been launched? Well, Russian Federation has been escalating from starting from actually 2014 and then going into full-scale war at the end of February this year. So uh, Russia has one goal, to eradicate Ukrainian people from the map of the world and Ukraine as a country, uh, to erase it. So therefore, they will continue escalating if, if we, as Ukrainians, um, with the backing of the West, will actually allow them to do. I think Russia understands the language of power, unity, and strength. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Uh, more mobilized internally in our spirit and hope also for the support coming from the uh, free world in order to be able to kick them out from, this, um, from our land, from our country, and to let ourselves um, to live as we wish. But Ivana, I want to understand from you, Ukrainian forces were actually moving forward, trying to regain some territory that was lost in Donbass, uh, uh, in the Donetsk region initially, then perhaps moved towards Kherson um, and Zaprosia uh, and, and uh, uh, other areas. But this talk about you, the second front opening at Belarus, what does that mean to you, ma'am? Well... Uh, let me remind you that Belarusian territory has been used by the Russian Federation from the 24th of February. From there, the rockets had been launched against Ukraine. From there, there was also uh, there were Russian troops coming into Chernihiv and Kiev regions yes. at the beginning of this full-scale invasion. So Belarus has been at this war already. They have not been yet in this war with their troops, but they don't have uh, many, and their troops are not that willing to to fight against Ukrainian um, armed forces and Ukrainian people. So right now we see that Lukashenko, the, the self-proclaimed dictator in Belarus, um, is actually getting ready to fully engage in this, um, in this war by inviting additional Russian troops uh, to the territory. And they will probably, more, most likely, will try to hit us from the north. That just means that it's additional hundreds and hundreds of kilometers of the battle um, border uh, of, for, for battleground. Uh, but that does not mean that Ukrainians are not going to be fiercely fighting for their homeland. You're absolutely right. Stay with me, ma'am. Dennis, Ukraine has been battling similar attacks for the past eight months, as Ivana very rightly points out. Um, you know, that long convoy that came from the north uh, 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 in February, March. Tell me this. How bad is the power supply situation across Ukraine? What's the temperature right now? And what's it likely to be in the days and weeks ahead? Uh, well, I can say that uh, Ukrainian uh, Ukraine army also is ready to fight uh, the enemy. Our army is crushing the enemy on uh, um, uh, in Donbas, in Kherson Oblast, in uh, Lugansk Oblast. So, uh, as I said, we are ready to fight, uh, and uh, uh, we can see at least. Uh, uh, we have uh, we have seen that uh, Russians uh, can't uh, throw at us as much uh, uh, tanks and airplanes as it was 